And welcome to the Houston Texans franchise rebuild. Here today we have week five action versus the Denver Broncos. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought of today's action. And don't forget to subscribe. As the Houston Texans have had an excellent start to this new campaign, starting off 4-0, just like they did a year ago, and we're looking to not repeat what happened a year ago. A season ago, we started off 4-0, and then we started on this massive losing streak, and it put us in a losing eight games of our last, what, uh, 13 games, and we're hoping to avoid that this campaign. But we set our sights now here against the Denver Broncos, who are 2-2 two two with veteran quarterback Russell Wilson. Though due to practice, a couple major injuries have happened to two key starters on both offense and defense. Paul Wilkerson will be missing today's action, as well as Jabril Peppers. So I am thinking at the receiver position between the... Number two in the slot receiver, we're going to kind of have a rotation and third or fourth year safety. Um, what's his name? Fourth year safety. Um, uh, Christopher Lockhart here will be getting the start here. Lockhart is not at all a cover safety. He's more of a run stopper. So we'll see how he'll perform this week. But this is his first action as a really a starter in a key game here. But with a 4-0 start coming off of a massive victory versus the Tennessee Titans, we're hoping to take the next necessary step here versus this Broncos team. Let's go check out this Broncos team, see the changes that they have made, and any sort of improvements. Taking a quick look at this Broncos team, they are led by Patrick Sertain, Javante Williams, Justin Simmons. The core is still here from the beginning of the franchise. They still have some very new starters as well as some youth injected in here but quarterback russell wilson is their franchise quarterback demarcus uh benford here second year quarterback is their future it looks like he is a star dev quarterback he has solid ratings all around um i'm expecting him to become the starter potentially next season they have they obviously have a good running game here and we're gonna see a very different running game attack because don't forget last week we did not play against derrick henry so our run defense is gonna have to be on key but they have their four deep here at wide receiver here. Uh, Taylor here, he's a deep threat. Same with Marcus uh, or uh, Hardman here, McCall Hardman. You know, they still have Cortland Sutton, a top receiving core. But Mark Troutman here is going to get the start here, the rookie tight end. He was uh, very much more of a possession type of guy, but he can make some plays here uh, without McCoy. They have an okay offensive line across the board. You know, a few key starters. I think we can take advantage, but they have a very good defense. Two excellent edge rushers, a quality front four with a lot of youth injected into this linebacking core. Still led by Bradley Chubb with a very good secondary. Though they are also missing a few key starters, so hopefully we can take advantage of potentially this secondary just a little bit here. Though, I think that this will be a tough matchup. It is Russell Wilson. He is a franchise quarterback. And, you know, we have struggled against this team, even though we have beaten them. So hopefully we can continue to keep that trend and stay undefeated here in week five. And welcome to Denver, Colorado. Here in week five, it's the Broncos versus the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans are right now 4-0 with an excellent start to the new campaign. Looking to continue to improve, we, have le we are led by our running game and our two top-tier wide receivers, though Paul Wilkerson will be missing in today's action, and he was the spark for last week's episode. And we're hoping that he can, even without his missing, that Calvin Ridley, Gino Duvall, Tyler Tyler Millington and Brock Morgan, one of those guys is going to have to step up this week next to Nico Collins. You flip it over to our defense. Our defense last week only allowed 10 points. No running game allowed from the Tennessee Titans, but Javante Williams might have another story here. He is an excellent running back, one of the best in the league here, and Denver is going to look to rely on him heavily. Don't forget, they also have a lot of key starters across the defense. They have an excellent front four with led by Bradley Chubb. Nico Collins a week ago, over seven receptions, 115 yards and two touchdowns, hoping that he can continue to produce at his high level. And leading out his Houston offense is number 15, Mason Pryor. 
threw uh, three interceptions in the first half. He has nine touchdowns to five interceptions here. He has thrown a turnover in every single ball game. But a week ago, three turnovers of the first half, no, none in the second half. We're hoping that trend can continue here in week five. So without Paul Wilkerson, which wide receiver will step up here? Starting with an offset eye formation here, here comes Damian Pierce, who's having an excellent start to the new campaign, and he stays on his feet to pick up three yards. Second down and seven here for Pryor. Three receivers set. You know Duvall is out there and he's going to get the target and he reels it down. The first round pick picks up eight yards. Expecting him to have a bigger role this week. Though I do think that Calvin Ridley will probably play throughout this entire ball game. He is an important key starter for our offense as Pierce will get another carry here for six more. Empty look here. Pryor trying to avoid the three and out. He looks to throw here. Slings it over the middle here for Nico Collins. And Collins, the big bodied receiver, reels it down. Starting off three for three here for Nico, for, for, um, or my goodness, for Mason Pryor. I cannot think of any names right now. Pryor will turn to the shotgun here. Pat Vernon is the back as he's going to get the call here. He's a speedster and he's going to be able to pick up a first down. Excellent blocking there for this um, line. But now Calvin Ridley is down on the field and that would put a lot of youth in this receiving group. No word yet on Calvin Ridley right now. Or facing a third down in inches. Here comes Damian Pierce up the gut. First down and more. One thing about this Denver defense, they have a ton of edge rushing talent, but I think we can take advantage of them by running the football. And hopefully Pierce is ready for it as he's going to get four more on this carry. Third down and six here at the 15. Pryor needs this conversion, takes the snap, he looks to throw. Here's Gino Duvall. Duvall, touchdown Houston. The rookie wide receiver making his, I believe, his first career touchdown reception. And he just makes a play here in the first quarter. Excellent drive there, constructed there by Mason Pryor, and Houston will have the early advantage. And leading out his Denver offense is number three, Russell Wilson. The veteran quarterback has 10 touchdowns to nine interceptions. It looks like he's been a turnover machine, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. But he's going to be going out there down by six. Matt Gay missed the extra point, so he's only down by two scores or by a, by a touchdown. Wilson will start at his own 25-yard line here. Here with a two-receiver set. Dropping back. Looks to throw. Houston sends a blitz to start this drive. And this pass will get to McCole Hardman for a first down. How will Christopher Lockhart play at the strong safety position? Hopefully he can hold up here. Wilson will look to throw. He tests Derek Stingley again, and he got it. McCole Hardman, 12 more. We did give Derek Stingley that big five-year contract extension last episode. Hopefully, he can continue to play at a high level. Here is now Rodriguez here. The third-year wide receiver reels it down. Second down and one here. Ball pass midfield here as Denver is putting together a quality drive so far. More play action here for Wilson. Takes a shot, but he got the ball again to Hardman. He started off four for four for 50 yards. Excellent job right there by the veteran quarterback and Russell Wilson. Super Bowl champion uh, over, over a decade ago, and he's still one of the best. A week ago, this Houston defense was able to slow down the running game of Tennessee, but now we play against Javante Williams, and we're going to have to, this is a whole new test. Here's Williams yet again, trying to cut it outside, breaks initial contact, three more. Wilson faces a third down and four here, takes the snap quickly, has to get this ball to the rookie Trumpman for the first down. Inside the 15, now here comes Wilson, trying to answer with their, his own touchdown. Here's Rodriguez for five more. Second down and five here. Wilson in the shotgun, spreading out this defense. Here comes Williams, break eight free, and he's gonna find the end zone. Touchdown, Denver! An extra point away from taking the lead here due to the missed field goal, or the extra point here. But Denver and Houston offenses strike first. A totally di different atmosphere here in week five than week four. Well, good news. Calvin Ridley is back out there. Starting with an offset eye formation here for Mason Pryor. He looks to throw. He wants Ridley and he got him. Good gain here of seven. Mason Pryor has been able to deliver the football very quickly in this campaign. He's only taken three sacks. Back to this aerial attack. He wants Nico and he got him again. What a job there by Nico Collins. And both offenses passing game is working out in their favor. Ball pass midfield now here. Last minute here, the first quarter. Pryor looks to throw. He wants Duvall and he got him. And he reels it down here for eight more. The rookie receiver continues to step up. 
Back to this offset eye formation here for Pryor. And more play action he looks to throw. Does he want to take his deep shot? No, he wants to take his underneath here to Pierce, and Pierce will get five. Here comes a third down and three here. Pryor in an empty look. Takes the snap. He looks to throw now. Failing some rush, and he had it to throw that ball in the dirt. Incomplete. As we do send out Matt Gay here for a 45-yard field goal attempt. He did miss the extra point, but we're trying to go up by a couple points here, and we will do so. Good job by Matt Gay. Comes Denver here on their second possession. Down by two, two points here. Starting with a carry here with Javante Williams, and Williams up the middle, gain seven. Being able to slow down Williams in this passing game is going to be a tougher task than I expected here. Here comes Wilson, slings it over the middle to Trumpman, the rookie tight end, reels it down for the fresh set of down. Seven for seven here for Wilson. He's been looking excellent so far, and we have yet to really establish any sort of pass rush. Here comes a three tight end formation, though. Williams gets the call, and he's going to be tackled by the face mask by Nova. That's going to add an extra 15 yards and an automatic first down. It'll be a third down and eight here for Wilson and company. He needs to get past the 35. Looks to throw, and there's Steven Dalton. I believe this is his first sack of the new campaign, or at least his second sack of the campaign, and he makes a big-time play here. This will force Denver to punt there. Great job by the young edge rusher. Wilson just spinned right into the hands of Steven Dalton. Pryor will start at his own 27-yard line, up by two, looking to extend his lead, motioning Juno Duvall. Duvall will get the pitch here, as Duvall is trying to cut it outside. He won't go far. Both Duvall and Paul Wilkerson are the same type of wide receiver, a lot of speed. Here comes Pryor on second down and 10. He wants Collins, and he got him. What a job there by Mason Pryor. Houston will turn to an empty look now here. Pryor takes the snap. He wants Collins yet again. Left wide open. He's down the field. No one covered him. Touchdown, Houston. What a job there for Nico Collins. A 51-yard play. No one even looked at Nico Collins' way. And why wouldn't you? He is the number one receiver here of Houston. He is their best playmaker out there on the field. You just got to put your best corner on him on every single play. Nine-point advantage here for Houston as Denver has a little work to do. They haven't done much since their first possession. Wilson will look to throw here, slings it quickly. McCall Hardman, and Hardman's been his favorite target. Nine for nine here for Wilson. Now he will go under center here with a two tight end formation here. Play action fake, he looks to throw. Wanting to take his deep shot, but he'll settle underneath here to Williams. Second down and seven here. Sticking with this two tight end formation, sticking with this running game here for Williams. Gain of four. As it will be a third down and three here. Wilson trying to get this conversion to keep this possession going. Quickly throws, and this is his first incompletion. And it comes at the worst time. It's fourth down. They have to punt again. And here comes Mason Pryor and team looking to extend their lead up by three scores. Starting with a carry here with Damian Pierce, who's going to rumble and tumble for six. Bunch formation to the right now here. Pryor will take the snap. He looks to throw here. He wants Duvall, and he got Duvall. What a tough reception there for the rookie. Fresh set of downs here for Houston. Staying jam-packed now. Pryor staying in this aerial attack, and he wants Collins again, and he got Collins again. Oh, my goodness. Houston is still playing excellent football here without Paul Wilkerson. These playmakers are stepping up. Already five catches, 151 yards here for Collins, and Mason Pryor is looking perfect out there. Second down and 10 here. Pryor under center now, and is, he's going to drop back. Looks to throw, slings it over the middle. Collins again, and Collins will find the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. We're going to go up by three scores here in week five. Last play here before the two-minute warning as Denver will take over. Here's a carry here for Javante Williams. Gain of seven as we hit the warning. Denver needs to put together a quality drive here in this two-minute drill. Here comes Wilson, looks to throw, slings it over the middle. Here is Cortland Sutton, the veteran receiver, reels it down. As Denver will go to a hurry-up offense now. Wilson felt the rush. He had it to settle underneath here to Williams, gain a seven more. Second down and three now. Wilson takes it quickly to the outside here. Rodriguez, who steps out of bounds. Ball past midfield, right around the 40-yard line of Houston. Trying to put up some points now. Here comes Wilson, scrambling, slings it to the outside, caught here by Sutton. Less than 60 seconds to go here for Wilson. Jam-packed 
at the to the right now here comes the rookie who reels it down here and he's gonna be able to get seven more another timeout charge here for denver second down and three now here comes wilson looks to throw looking looking anyone to get open now he's gonna look to run even at 37 years old he can still make a play Second down and eight here. 15 seconds to go here in the first half. Wilson needs points, though. He looks end zone. Pass out away by Nova. What a job there. As it'll be a third down and eight here. 11 seconds to go here in the first half. Here comes Wilson. He looks to throw. Now he's going to look to scramble. And he's going to be tackled just shy of the end zone. Timeout here for Denver. As Denver is looking to convert a short field goal attempt here. You could have taken a shot in the end zone. They will, though, take the three points and make this game by 13. As Gino Duvall here will be returning this pa this this kick return, as we're going to head into halftime here. One of the speedster just to get an opportunity. But as we're going to head into halftime here, Houston has a 23 to 10 lead here over this Broncos team. No turnovers for either roster. But overall, Houston has made an excellent game plan, getting the ball to Nico Collins. Made, um, Gino Duvall has stepped up, and hell, even Damian Pierce has been playing well, too. Mason Pryor, though, has looked picture perfect. Same with Russell Wilson, though. But we got to continue this pressure going as the Indianapolis Colts pick up a victory here over the 0-5 Cleveland Browns here as Aaron Lawrence picks up another victory. I also saw, I believe, the Tennessee Titans got blown out, so they got a loss. We've got to keep an eye out if Jacksonville wins. But here at the beginning of the second half, Denver will start with a rock. They're down by 13. They got to get a possession going here. Here's a quick pass here to Rodriguez. And if you're Denver right now, you got to lean a little bit more on Wilson, I feel. He's been making a lot of good plays through this aerial attack. He's looked perfect, but he's going to be picked off here. Derek Stingley. A week ago, he got an interception. And now it's back-to-back -back weeks here. As a rookie, he picked up nine interceptions. He's not been that ball-hawking corner because no one tests him because he's an elite corner. But he just got a new contract an episode ago. And hey, he picks up another interception. And just like that, Houston will start inside Denver territory, trying to extend their lead. Here comes Damian Pierce, and Pierce will get three. As it's third down and seven here, prior to the shotgun, takes the snap, a little delay give here for Pat Verner. The speed start running back, and he won't go far. It's fourth down and two. And it's fourth down and two, and Houston's looking to go for it. You do that on third down and long. Pryor takes the snap. He looks to throw. Felt the rush, and it's off the mark. Turnover on downs. The rush off the edge. Almost got home. As these two defenses are starting to make some plays here, settling in now. Here comes Javante Williams, and Williams breaking free. Tackled by the leg. Still picks up the first down. Fresh set of downs here for Denver. Bunch formation to the left. Here comes Wilson. Slings it over the middle. Here is Cortland Sutton for the fresh set of downs. Wilson standing at the midfield marker now. And a little give here. Williams yet again breaking tackles. Gain of seven. Williams is starting to heat up here. And this is exactly what Denver wants to do is run the football. Wilson though will keep it himself now. Gain of a yard. Third down and two now. Two tight ends on the field. Williams the lone back. He's going to get the call to go up the gut, and he gets the first down. Second down and seven here. Offset eye formation in as they bring in the fullback. Wilson looks to throw, but he done. Houston sends the blitz, and that was a forced fumble there by Jabril Peppers, or um, um, Jalen Petrie, excuse me, but was Russell Wilson or Javante Williams was able to pick it up. Third down and 11 there after the sack, and now Wilson has to get past the 19-yard line if he wants to keep this possession going. Wilson takes the snap. He looks to throw. Slings it to the outside. Passes off the mark. It's incomplete. And Denver looks to execute a field goal here. This is a pretty much a cheap shot field goal here in Denver with this altitude. The field goal will be up, and it's good. And we have a 10-point advantage now. Here comes Houston now. You're up by 10 points and looking to extend your lead. Pryor will start in this aerial attack. He wants Richard Palmer. He got Richard Palmer. Gain of eight. 
to tight end formation here for Pryor. He's been passing the ball a lot today. More play action, looks to throw, slings it, Collins, and he got him again. Oh my goodness, Nico Collins, what are you? Seven catches for 80, 188 yards. Bunch formation to the left here. Pryor gonna be motioning now, Nico Collins. Fakes it to him, got the ball to Duvall, and Duvall will lose four. Just like that, they're behind the six here. Pryor will stay under center here, and he will turn to this running game here with Damian Pierce, who's gonna power his way through. Penalty flag is thrown, though, and it's holding here on Houston. And that's gonna negate that positive gain. Third down at seven here. Mason Pryor has to get past the 38. He takes the snap. He looks to throw here, feeling the rush as he's scrambling, and he throws it off the mark. He wanted Ridley. Well, Denver is down by 10 here, but they've been able to slowly chip at this lead. Can they continue to do so? Javante Williams will get the call here. Gain of a yard, though. And Denver can still lean on their running game if necessary. Staying in this offset eye formation, Williams gets the call, sheds the initial contact, gain of three. As it will be a third down and six here. Here's Wilson's trying to avoid the three, and now they got Cortland Sutton. Sutton gets the first down and more. And if you're Houston right now, you're looking for your edge rushers, your pass rush to get a sack potentially. Wilson quickly again, and this is going to be another catcher for Rodriguez. Time continues to tick here in the third quarter. We have a 10 point advantage as Wilson is putting together another good drive. Scrambling now to his left, he looks to run. He's going to be able to get close to the marker. It'll be a second down and one here at the beginning of the qu fourth quarter. And here at the beginning of the fourth quarter, Denver's orchestrating another an excellent drive here for Russell Wilson. Wilson looks to throw, scans down the field. McCall Harmon does it again for his offense. McCall Harmon, five catches for 72 yards. He's been making a lot of plays, putting Derek Stingley kind of on ice a little bit. He looks to throw again as Wilson. Plenty of time by Nick Bosa. Sack fumble picked up here by Denver. We haven't called his number and oh, it feels like two games, but Nick Bosa gets involved in the action. Well, now it's third down and 15 here. You got to be able to get the conversion. Here comes Wilson, slings it to the outside. Javante Williams reels it down, but it's fourth down. What do you do if you're Denver? So it looks like Denver is going to settle for three here. And it will stay in a two-score two advantage, though, for Houston. And it's up, and it's good. Here comes the Houston Texans starting at their own 25-yard line. We haven't put up a point since the second quarter. Can we get something going here? As we'll start with a carry here with Pierce, gain a seven. And during the fourth quarter, Damian Pierce, this is where he shines the most here in terms of rushing yards. Right up the gut again. Good hard running there. First down and more. Bunch formation here to the right now. Pryor takes the snap. He looks to throw. Looking, feeling some rush. Looking for anyone. He wants Calvin Ridley down the field, and he got Ridley. What a job there for the veteran receiver. He saw his quarterback having to escape the pocket, and he's able to go upfield and make a play. Well, now you face a third down and nine here. Got to get inside the 15. Pryor takes the snap. He looks to throw. He wants to fall. He's going to be picked up. Patrick Sertain. Sertain with his first INT at the ball game. And just like that, Houston is giving a little bit more life here for Denver. We've said it at the beginning of the episode. Mason Pryor's thrown at least one turnover in every single ball game. And just like that, Patrick Sertain makes him pay. Here comes Russell Wilson. Less than six minutes to go here, and you're down by a touchdown. He needs to orchestrate another good drive. Here's the backup tight end for seven. And if you're Houston now, you're looking to your defense to make one more key play. Here comes Javante Williams, though, rumbling and tumbling for another first down. Houston will put four corners out here on first down. Wilson to the shotgun now. Takes the snap. He looks to throw. Feeling more rush. And there's again Steven Dalton. His second sack of today's action. And this pass rush is starting to get going. Less than 420 to go as Houston's defense is starting to step up here. Now Wilson behind the sticks. Looks to throw again. Slings it over the middle. Left wide open here. And that is the rookie tight end. It'll be a third down and four here. Gotta get past midfield here if you're Russell Wilson. Looks to throw. Plenty of time left open as Williams. He's breaking free down the sideline. Tackled at the 31. And where would this defense be able to make another key stop? You gotta be hoping to do so. Here comes Wilson again. And this is um, Rodriguez for six. 
It'll be a third down and one here. 35 seconds to go. Wilson takes the snap. Houston sends a blitz, passes off the mark. It's incomplete. And it looks like Denver will go for it. Well, it looks like it's fourth down and one, but it's kind of fourth down and inches here. Wilson to the shotgun, takes the snap, looks to throw, picked up, pressure for Lockhart. He's replacing Jabril Peppers this week, and he's going to go all the way for a touchdown, and Houston will be putting in another great play here. Pick six there for Christopher Lockhart, and he is making a big-time impact here. And just like that, if you're Denver, maybe that's all the life you got. Well, now you're down again by 14. You got to be able to orchestrate two more possessions. Can you do so with two minutes to go? Here comes Wilson. He's trying to escape the pocket. and He does so. Somehow, some way, he's able to get 13. Two minutes left to go here in week five. And Wilson needs to orchestrate another good possession. He looks to throw. Sets up a screen now. Williams again with a good reception here. He's able to get nine, but Denver will have to go hurry up. The minute 40 to go here. Wilson has a lot of work to do, and he needs to take his deep shots, and he's going to get Cortland Sutton here at the 14. Oh, my goodness. Russell Wilson does it again for his Denver offense. Now he looks to throw again. End zone. Boss is off the mark. Exactly 60 seconds on the clock here for Wilson, and he needs to find the end zone. Takes the snap, he looks to throw. Looking end zone here. Adoree Jackson punches it away. It's fourth down. Denver can pick up a first down, though. 56 seconds to go here in week five. Wilson changing up the play, putting Rodriguez in slot left. Wilson takes it, looks to throw. Plenty of time. End zone. Pass. Knocked away. And that should be it. Houston will be getting an excellent victory here versus this Denver team. And here in week five, the Houston Texans will be staying undefeated by beating the Denver Broncos 30 to 16. What a job here for this Houston team from a collective unit without missing two key starters on both sides of the ball and the replacements Gino Duvall the rookie receiver stepped up massively Christopher Lockhart getting a pick six to basically ice the today's action and overall our team again plays excellent football here and this is the expectation Houston has been making plays when necessary and we're continuing to do so very happy about that. Mason Pryor having himself another good day here. A very much of a excellent job there by Pryor. In reality, even with the one turnover, he looked excellent out there. Damian Pierce, you know, with the amount of touches, I would have hoped he hit 100 yards, but still 69 yards. Nice is still good enough for me. Nico Collins, seven catches, 188 yards, two touchdowns. He stepped up. Duvall, five catches, 40 yards and a touchdown. He stepped up. We got other players involved. Calvin Ridley made a couple key catches. Um, got to get Richard Palmer a little bit involved into this offense. No sacks allowed again. And then defensively, we got four. Dalton got picked up two. Bosa got one. And Jalen Petrie got one. Christopher Lockhart got the pick six. And then Derek Stingley got his own interception. So very happy to see key playmakers making plays for us. As we too have two upgrades here. One for Steven Dalton, who picked up a couple sacks in this past game here. The 25-year-old edge rusher, who only plays on edge rushing downs. He is really more of that type of player. I would like to go speed rusher, but I don't think that will ever get good at 25 years old. I think we go with power rusher, get those power moves up, and we don't even get it. We get plus three tackle and pursuit here. Ah, pretty good for him. He's an excellent, he's a quality athlete. He can make some plays when necessary. For Jalen Petrie here, you know, at 20, how old is he, 27? You know, he's an older player. Um, you know what? I, I, I still want to work on his own coverage. Continue to making that his high skill. Um, making him an 84 overall. Get plus two zone. That puts him at 83. And as we sim to the next week here, we are still undefeated here at 5-0. Jacksonville looked like they lost last week, so they fall to 3-2. And, and both the Titans and the Colts are now 2-3. And, and in within the um, whole NFL, there are still a few 5-0 teams. You know, we have the Chiefs, we have the Raiders, and of course us. So it's still very jam-packed here in terms of the AFC. 
um, you know, there's still a lot of, of course, things that have to happen here, but two, three of the best teams are in the AFC, and that's the Chiefs, the Raiders, and, the, and us. So hopefully we can continue to stay um, on top here. But now the next time will be against this Jacksonville team that, you know, honestly has made a lot of changes over this last um, um, offseason. They drafted a new rookie quarterback. They have been, they've been bringing in young talent. So hopefully we can take advantage of a rookie quarterback. And hopefully if we can start with a 6-0 start entering into the bye week, we potentially have an opportunity here to run away with this division, which would be very much key. Uh, we do have a breakout chance here and something about a wide receiver in crisis here. Um, we'll see who has the breakout opportunity here. Um, in terms of, again, scouting and stuff, I talked about this in a previous episode. I'm really not going to focus too heavily on the draft with you guys at, during random episodes. We'll more go through the draft class during an offseason or during the offseason episode. So for right now, I'm not really focused too heavily on it. I'll do some scouting off um, off recording and stuff. But overall, you know, I'm, I'm looking at offensive linemen, defensive line, you know, linebacker, um, a little bit of key starters across the board. Nathan Smith here, he looks like a good player. Um, but, you know, we're probably not going to have the opportunity to draft any high caliber talents here. But, you know. Overall, we we improved to 5-0, and an excellent start to this new campaign here in year 5. So guys, please let me know down below what you thought of today's action. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.